Hi everyone, I'm Ben. I'm a senior immigration specialist here at BDV Solutions. Today, we're gonna to be looking at a consular processing case from Pakistan. The, uh, the EB3 process begins, as many of you may already know, with the filing of the LC. LC stands for labor certification, and this is the application that your sponsoring employer sends to the Department of Labor to show that they've taken all of the appropriate steps in order to sponsor your visa. This person's LC was filed in 2019 and then received an audit. Audit can sound a little bit daunting at first, but audits with the Department of Labor are issued at random. About one in three LCs are chosen for audit. It's very routine and your employer will already have most of the materials ready to respond to that audit as soon as it is issued. After the audit, the LC for this individual was approved in February of 2020. And after the LC is approved, you move on to filing the I-140. What the I-140 does is it preserves your LC. LCs will expire after six months of being certified. So to stop it from expiring, you present that LC to USCIS, which is the Immigration Department of the United States government, through the I-140. So they file their I-140 with the LC and it receives an RFE. An RFE uh, stands for Request for Evidence. And all it is is USCIS asking additional questions about your application. It's very similar to receiving an audit um, and our attorneys that are assisting in your green card process will be prepared and ready to respond to that RFE if you get one. The I-140, which had been applied through premium processing, was then approved in June of 2020. And when you're consular processing, you then move on to filing the DS-260. The DS-260 is your actual application for a green card. This person's DS-260 was filed December of 2020, and they had their interview a full year later in December of 2021. Shortly thereafter, uh, just uh, a little bit over a month later, they received their green cards, uh, which have the categories EW3, which is the EB3 worker, and EW4, which is the spouse of that worker. So this person's process took quite a bit of time. They hit a few road bumps along the way. They had their LC audited, they had their I-140 receive an RFE, but ultimately, after about three and a half years, both the worker who was coming and applying for a green card and their spouse received their green cards. This is a great example that even though the process goes a long time and has bumps along the way, that BDV is committed to fighting for your green card case and making sure that you ultimately reach the success that you're seeking in your green card process.